Hey guys, it's Merit. So today I just finished filming this Khloe Kardashian inspired smoky eye look. So if you want to see how to do it, just keep on watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching Makeup by Merit. So first I've already gone in and prepped my skin with the Bloom and Grow Soothing Gel. Um, I love this, it's a good lightweight moisturizer. And I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyelids using the Pure Mineral Cease Crease. Um, I'm going to be doing one of the smoky eye looks that she really tends to go for. So we want to go ahead and do all of our eye makeup first to really make sure that any eyeshadow underfall is caught and not clinging to our foundation. And now I'm going to go in with a pearlescent white base. It's going to have just a tiny bit of shimmer to it, and I really like this one. Um, this is the Maybelline Color, 20, or Color Tattoo 24 Hour Metal, and this one is Barely Branded. And this is just going to help our eyeshadow keep a nice amount of shimmer to it, because we will be working with both matte and shimmer colors. So next I'm going to go ahead and start a smoky eyeshadow base right at the eye line and we are going to use the IT Cosmetics the No Tug Waterproof Gel Eyeliner in Black. Now I'm using this as just a base to really emphasize the lashes. Khloe Kardashian always has falsies on but super super smoky lash line and I love how easy this is to blend in. I'm just gonna smoke it out a little bit. Just blending it. The great thing with this Ed Pencil is it really gives you a little bit of play time with it so it doesn't dry so quick that you're like, oh my gosh, I've not completely blended it out how I like. You still have a little bit of play time with this one. And I'm also gonna take a little bit of this underneath the lash line. And smudging it out. We're only doing the outer third. Because we're going to go back in with some powder eyeshadow colors. Now next I'm going to take an off-white eyeshadow. This is the Makeup Forever M500 eyeshadow. I'm just going to be using a little fluffy brush. This is one of the Physician's Formula brushes. I think it's actually, or no, it's the Eco Tools brush. And I believe this is the one designed for under eye concealer, but use whatever brush you like. I just love how soft these are. And I'm taking this matte white shadow all the way over the entire eye, except for where we've just put that black eyeliner. Now, Chloe really seems to do a really thick lash line, really perfected skin, brows, nude lip, but she has just a tiny bit of smokiness in the socket. Now these are just like my favorite pictures. Of course, everybody changes up their makeup and especially the Kardashians. Ugh. They have the most perfect skin. I love keeping up with the Kardashians. I watch it every Sunday. And I love how Chloe, especially on her Instagram, will start saying, it's almost time, it's almost time, and that's my reminder. Now using the same brush and another Makeup Forever eyeshadow, this is M64. 
and this is kind of a almost brandy nude brown it's really pretty we're going to take this right into the socket line here just to open up the eyes it's not going to add a ton of color just enough to really open up the eye area now to blend that out more I'm going to take a pure minerals crease brush and just work that back and forth to diffuse out the pigment a lot of times if you keep on using the exact same brush that you've used to apply the shadow instead of really diffusing it out and blending it's just going to keep on making it darker and darker so this is really going to create a nice wash of color I'm going to repeat that step on the other eye. Now I'm going to take another Makeup Forever eyeshadow. This is M618. I love that they don't have names, but at the same time when you're trying to look, sometimes it can be a little difficult. Now we are going to really smoke out the eye with this. I'm going to start on the under eye area. really just keep on building up the intensity you can take it down as low as far as you want to go it's all up to you I'm gonna keep the brown relatively low just to give like a nice smoky eye effect but not so much that I feel like I look like I have a black eye because that's not the look we're going for wait till Halloween and I'll show you how to do those And then I'm going to take the same brush, which is just a really great angled eye brush. And we're going to do a little bit of a kind of a cut crease, but not so defined. We're just taking this right into the socket line. And this is just going to give a little bit more definition. I'm going back to that Eco Tools brush. I'm just blending it in a little bit. And we're also going to connect that with the outer corner of the eye. And same thing on the other eye. And now just to add a little bit more drama to this eye, because I like it, but I want to make it a little smokier, a little sultrier. I'm going to go in with, where's my blending? Another fluffy bending brush. And then I'm going to take a little bit of the Makeup Forever this is why they're just blacks, and it is the S102. And this is a matte black eyeshadow. And I just really, really want to smoke out that crease a little bit more. Oh, yeah. And having that little bit of white right onto the lid is really going to help keep the eye area open. And then I'm going to blend it out again with the Eco Tools and really smudge this up. Get exactly the look I'm going for. You can see that's really pretty having that little bit of extra dimension. And another reason that I like doing a, all my eye makeup first is because I did get some eyeshadow under fall. So I'm going to take a clean fluffy brush. And 
and just take off that. Now I'm going to prime my skin with the Balms Time Balm with any kind of face primer. I know some people apply it with a brush, some people apply it with their fingers. I'm a fingers person. I feel like it really helps the product to melt in better. Now, since we're going for a Kardashian look, we really want full, flawless face makeup. Because those girls, you can never tell if they have a blemish or anything like that. Their skin always looks absolutely perfect. So, my next step, I'm going to be going in with the MAC Studio Tech in NW15. And I'm going to be using my IT Cosmetics and this is the Airbrush Flooring Foundation brush. Now this is a very full coverage, full, full coverage foundation, but if you're trying to create absolutely flawless skin, this is a great one for you. Half the time I find I really don't even need to use a concealer when I've been using this. You're just really going to buff this into the skin. And you can also use this to go through and kind of clean up any of your eye makeup. If you want to make a more dramatic point, you can totally use your foundation and a foundation brush to really wing it out like that if that's what you want to go for. In any areas, that you want a little bit more coverage. Instead of just buffing into the skin in circular motions, you can actually press right into the skin. You can tell how pale I am. I have started myself tanner, but I just have not done my face yet. And yes, this really is how pale I am, people. And set everything I just did for face with the CoverGirl Professional. This is the translucent. And since that's a cream foundation, it does set to a powder finish, but I really, really want flawless skin. So I'm really going through and working this powder in. And I'm using one of the Real Techniques brushes. Um, I don't know if they make this Kabuki one anymore, but I really love this brush. Now I'm going in with this shade. And I'm really going to focus on almost doing a three on my face, really contouring right on the hairline, then going under for my cheekbone, and then really under here to create that nice, sculpted, pretty contoured face. So I'm going to start up my hairline. And the great thing about this palette is it is super, super easy to blend. So if you do too, too much, you can totally just take a clean makeup brush and buff it in more. Now I am trying to really sculpt out my forehead because I really like that look. Then I'm going to go underneath my cheekbone and the easiest way is to really feel where your cheekbone is and do from ear to about where your people is. And then I'm going to go right along my jawline. And I'm not going to blend these out yet. And 
now I'm going to take my Real Techniques brush and I'm going to start working the contour up. And just blending. And I'm really going to get that jawline nice and smooth. See, that gave us enough definition where it's going to look great in camera. Now, this obviously might not be the perfect one for you for every single day, but the Kardashians are filmed every single place they go, so they would tend to want to wear a little bit of heavier makeup, especially for TV, film, anything like that. Now, I'm going to go ahead and take the yellow color. I'm going to take this underneath my eyes. In a little triangle. This is going to be nice and brightening. You really make your foundation stay. And it just has a little bit of a soft glow to it. Make sure it's all blended. And I'm also going to take a little bit of the yellow right here on the top of my forehead and blend down. And I'll also do a little bit on the bridge of my cupid's bow right in the center of my chin. Just to add a little bit of highlight. And now, the shimmer part, I'm going to take Cindy Luminizer from the Balm using my Real Techniques brush, the same one I've been using, which is the setting brush. And this has a really, really pretty glowy pink. You can see that probably. I'm hoping the camera really is picking this up. We're going to do this on the top of the cheekbones, blending down to the apple of the cheek. Oh, I just love how this looks. It's just one of those nice golden peachy tones. And it's great to use as a blush or a highlighter. Just super pretty. So I'm going to take my Charlotte Tilbury, the Full Fat Lashes, and I love this mascara. It just goes on really nice and smooth. And I mean, you can see the difference in just even applying one coat. It just goes on so nice. Then we're going to take the mascara underneath my lashes. Take my Ardell Demi Wispies. Just take the back end of a makeup brush and paint the glue onto the lash band. Let it get tacky for just a second. And then drop them. right down onto your natural lashes and kind of pinch. Yes, let's face it, this would not be a Kardashian inspired look if I was not wearing false eyelashes. I always love Chloe's eyelashes. I do not know which one she uses, but 
they're like insanely amazing. I don't know if it's lash extensions, what, but oh, I want her eyelashes. Comment down below uh, what everybody's favorite lashes are. I have a small lash obsession and I love trying different ones. So I've been wanting to try like House of Lashes I've heard has some great ones. Um, I lore I've played with some of theirs and I really like theirs too. Ardell's are kind of always been my great go-to, but if you have any suggestions for me, please, please comment down below. I'd love to hear what all you guys like. And just drop it right down to the base of the lash, give it a second to stick. And then start pressing down. Eyelashes should want to fit pretty snug. And I find a lot of times the less you mess with them, the longer they stay on. But you can really see they make such a big difference. Today I am using the Pure Minerals Wake Up Brow in Latte. And I'm going to go ahead and brush through my brows first. I really like lately a fuller brow. I think it's nice and really flattering. So I'm gonna do that and that does tend to, Chloe's brows always are just absolutely perfectly groomed. Um, doesn't look like she's wearing a ton, a ton of product on her eyebrows. They look really smooth and pretty. So I'm gonna try to go in and do that. I'm gonna do the bottom of my eyebrow first. Really just to set up my line, then go in and do the top and start filling in. And comment down below uh, if you want to see another Kardashian inspired look. Um, seems like everyone has a really unique makeup style and I would love to do another one for you guys. Y'all just let me know what you want to see. It's really nice and defined. And I'm gonna go under. I have a little gap here, so I'm really gonna have to concentrate on filling that little bit in. It's called over blocking. This is what happens when I don't go to my eyebrow stylist and get them done and I try to pluck it home. Girls just step away from the tweezers. It's it's never worth the having to grab them back in. And if my esthetician is watching, I'm sorry, I promise I will come to you next. I will not let myself do this again. I'm just sketching in, saying I need a little bit more. Now the really cool thing about this product is it actually has a brow highlighter built into the other end. So I love this. You can literally take it right underneath your eyebrows, kind of sketch in, and it gives really pretty definition. And I also take it a little bit right here in the inner corner of my eye, just to give some glow. Now for lip, um, Chloe tends to wear either a really, really pretty nude um, with a gloss finish, or I've seen her in a lot of reds, and today I was gonna do a nude. Um, now what I'm gonna have to do is cheat my lip line, because my lips are not very full, and I'm going in with the NARS pencil in Morocco. I'm just going to feather it in. Now, I'm so fair, I cannot do a super light nude. I have to do something a little bit darker than most nudes, so I'm going in with this, and I'm going to do a lighter gloss on top to lighten it up.
Now I'm going in with the Model & Co. Dusk Till Dawn, and this is one of their Party Proof Matte Lipsticks. Just going straight from the tube. And that by itself would be really pretty, but to kind of fake a little more fullness, I'm just gonna go in with the Star Looks. And this is, gosh, that writing is so small. Guilty Pleasure, which is a light kind of baby pink nude. And I'm just gonna do that in the center of my bottom lip and right at the cupid's bow, almost like a little heart, just to fake a little more fullness. And there we have it, a Khloe Kardashian inspired makeup look.